above all, he who had kindled that flame and nourished that spirit was still alive, and, despite his isolation, was able to exercise the full measure of his influence. Even the sleepless vigilance had been powerless to stem the tide that had swept over the entire face of the land, and which had as its motive force the continued existence of the Bab. Extinguished that light, choked the stream at its very source, and the torrent that had brought so much devastation in its wake would run dry. Such was the thought that swayed the Grand Vizar of Nasruddin Shah. To do him death seemed to that foolish minister the most efficacious means for the recovery of his country from the shame into which he thought it had sunk. Contrawise to the previous occasion, when only the cord with which they were suspended had been shot into pieces. This time, their bodies were shattered and were blended into one mass of mingled flesh and bone. The remnants of that persecuted community were sunk in a distress that appalled and paralyzed them, that stifled their spirit, confused their minds, and strained to the utmost their loyalty. The disciples were troubled and agitated after the martyrdom of Christ. The reality of Christ, which signifies his teaching, his bounties, his perfections and his spiritual power was hidden and concealed for two or three days after his martyrdom and was not resplendent and manifest. No, rather it was lost, for the believers were few in number and were troubled and agitated. The cause of Christ was like a lifeless body, and when, after three days, the disciples became assured and steadfast and began to serve the cause of Christ and resolved to spread the divine teachings, putting his counsels into practice, and arising to serve him, the reality of Christ became resplendent, and his bounty appeared. His religion found life, his teachings and his admonitions became evident and visible. In other words, the cause of Christ was like a lifeless body until the life and bounty of the Holy Spirit surrounded it. Such is the meaning of the resurrection of Christ, and this was a true resurrection. O King of Paris, tell the priest to ring the bells no longer. By God, the True One, the most mighty bell hath appeared in the form of him who is the most great name. And the fingers of the will of thy Lord, the most exalted, the most high, toll out in the heaven of immortality in his name, the All-Glorious. He is the one. 